Okay, so today we're going to fit the laser grill kit, which has got ST4s already mounted, and we're going to put it onto this Defender. Uh, it's got a winch bumper. This particular vehicle is the aircon. It's got an aircon uh, system, so that means that it's got a moulding on the nose, which pushes the grill a little bit further forward, which uh, is a benefit for us because it gives us space uh, for the lights uh, in the grill. We'll show you how to mount this grill kit. It's a very easy operation, so here we go. Okay, so before we take the nose moulding off, uh, actually on this Defender, because we've got the winch bumper, we have to remove the, uh, the black uh, grill element first, otherwise there's no way to get the whole moulding past the winch bumper. So you've got three fir tree clips, and it's just a question of taking a screwdriver and uh, uh, levering them off. Okay, we've got six screws that hold the moulding on. One, two, three, four on the top, and then two on the sides. So the key is we remove the whole moulding. That allows us to very easily then fit the grill onto the moulding. So we're then able to remove the black part of the grill past the winch bumper, and that actually allows us to take the whole moulding straight off almost in one go. Really simplifies things and we can then lay it down <coughs> ready to work on it. We've actually got another fertile clip at the bottom here so <coughs> if we just remove that as well we don't need the black part. All we need now is to get our laser grill kit and we simply drop it on. So as mentioned before the lights are going to be at the top so this grill mesh is at the bottom of the vehicle so you can see that actually the uh, little tabs which we've got on the uh, grill uh, are now at the bottom. Normally they'd be at the top. And so we simply engage this uh, through from the front. Thread the wires through. We make sure these little clips go over the top okay so we've got the three little tabs engaged over the grill that'll hold it nice and tight against the molding and then you can see the four studs that we've got at the top here we just need to make sure that they are engaged with the grill as you can see here and then we use the little supplied uh, features uh, which come as part of the, the grill kit. These go over the studs and they basically will be used to pull the grill nice and tight onto the moulding. So again all of these are ready to stainless steel. Finger tight first of all. And then we can drive them home. Okay, so now we've got the grill into the moulding. It's just a question now of putting the moulding with the grill onto the vehicle. So it's a nice and straightforward operation. The only thing that you need to do, make sure the wires are passing down uh, to the bottom, which is where you want to put them later. And then as you're putting the grill on, just make sure that it's aligned in the correct position, side to side, so it engages on those side brackets nicely. And then it simply locates down to the correct height. And now you can access your four fixings on the top, which are the first thing to tighten up and then we'll do the two at the bottom. Uh, one thing to be careful of, because the lights are sitting as far forward as, as, as you can, you do have to be mindful that sometimes there's quite a tight gap condition behind. Uh, so um, it isn't normally a problem, but sometimes it can be uh, requiring a little bit of motivation to get it into uh, the correct spot.
Final screws uh, have gone in. Now it's just a question of cleaning it up a little bit if it's uh, a car that's been used for a little while. And then we simply push in the fir tree clips back again just to give it the finish that you'd expect, covering up those holes on both sides. And once we've used a bit of polish to get rid of the uh, little grease marks, it ends up looking like a very neat integrated solution, which really complements, in this case, the winch bumper. Next step, of course, is wiring. But a great looking solution if you need auxiliary lighting for your Defender. Really good way to mount it high off the ground so that you're getting excellent spread on the road.